Welcome to Minnesota. <laughs> you know, I didn't think it would snow quite as quickly as it did, but here I am in the middle of a Minnesotan winter, and uh, I'm ill-prepared. I do not have enough warm clothes, and apparently the temperature is only going to drop further. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. This is my first uh, outing into the Minnesotan wild. All right, so um, we're here today to talk about the rest of the leaks that have come out. I say leaks, like I don't like to cover that many Halo leaks anymore because I want to give credit to the company, but this is not a leak. Like these are official listings on deepdiscount.com. And this is a website that I've heard mixed things about. Any of the information I give today, it's up to you if you want to pre-order from their website. I've chosen to pre-order a few things that are releasing on Monday, but uh, there, the Winter Contingency and the Banished Garrison Pack, none of these new sets that I'm about to talk about today. About to talk about today. That's, uh, that's a mouthful. So I've already made one video today detailing the Banished Phantom because that's the thing that everybody's losing their minds about, right? Like, I've been predicting a Banished Phantom for like a year now, and it's finally here. It feels great to actually be talking about it. So I'm not going to go into many details about that because I got a lot of speculations on a previous video. You can check that out right here. And we're going to talk about the other four sets that were revealed and are now up for pre-order. Keep in mind, and these are releasing the 1st of June and they'll probably release everywhere so maybe you don't have to pre-order it's totally up to you but we're gonna go down this list of four and um, the last one on this list is uh, is is outrageous so the new sets conflict on Requiem red team charge UNSC scorpion sand trap sand trap man like what could that possibly be? Like, I'm so excited for a Sand Trap set, honestly. They are the four sets. Now, we'll go through them one by one with my personal speculations. First, the price. Conflict on Requiem starts at $18.99. On Deep Discount, it's reduced to $14. Deep Discount seems to reduce everything that it lists. The second is Red Team Charge, listed for $37, but reduced to $26. Then UNSC Scorpion, listed for $100, but reduced to $85. And then Sand Trap. And this is the kicker. Sandtrap is listed at retail 230 US dollars reduced to 167. 230 US dollars. And keep in mind this deep discount site, they might raise prices to drop them, you know? Like the retail might not be this, but this is what they're claiming the original price and the reduced price is. So take everything with a grain of salt. Right, so tis the season for speculation. Number one, the conflict on Requiem. I mean, we know this must be a Halo 4 set. For it to retail at 18.99, I feel like it's only gonna be some kind of small Arbiter's Quest-esque set. I've said before that Mega Constructs likes to release a year of products and then the next year they mirror things pretty spot on compared to what they released in the previous year. For example, the Mongoose versus the Ghost or the Marine Platoon Pack versus the Banished Garrison Pack. And in this case, the conflict on Requiem might be a similar price point to the Arbiter's Quest. So my prediction is it would include a vehicle with maybe two or three figures, maybe a named figure as well. Conflict on Requiem, we could see the return of Sarah Palmer or any of Fireteam Magic. But then the Requiem, you know, I, I wonder what the vehicle might be and specifically I hope it's not a vehicle I'm really hoping that this is some kind of base some kind of forerunner monolith or structure that is right up my alley So maybe this set if, if I was to talk about my ultimate prediction What I would love this set to be a banished structure with some really cool Spartan fours and a Promethean army It would be really great to see the Promethean knight return We've not had a new articulation version of that at all so that would be seriously dope. Of course, uh, new articulation. I don't think Mega's going to invest money into like a new articulation knight unless knights are in Halo Infinite, which it's looking pretty unlikely at this moment. So I would love this whole video to be interactive. Please do comment down below with your predictions for this set. My idea is a couple of Prometheans with maybe a couple of Spartan 4s and some kind of Promethean structure. Then we've got Red Team Charge. Now, Red Team Charge, uh, it's pretty obvious what that might be. It might be Red Team. They're there is one point in the campaign of Halo Wars where Red Team does charge and that's at the very end when they're fighting the Elite Honor Guards on the bridge. We know that the Elite Honor Guard is being remade in Halo Heroes Series 16 as the Lights of Sanghelios, so why not use some of those pieces again, make some kind of bridge, maybe even make the drivable vehicle that Forge and Red Team are protecting. Then you could have the Arbiter Reaper Marami, you could have Sergeant Forge again, but it's Red Team charge, so I think it's safe to say, especially at 
like a $37 price point that maybe we're gonna have all of Red Team because it is about time. Tracking down Red Team is next to impossible. Like, honestly, they are all very, very expensive. Douglas is the cheapest, but the others, oh my goodness, they're expensive. So having all of Red Team with a bridge, maybe with a defendable vehicle, and then some elite honor guards would just be outstanding. Roll the clips. UNSC Scorpion is $100. Now, the funny thing about this is these all seem to be Halo Universe. If you didn't know, Mega Constructs is now starting to differentiate between Halo Universe and Halo Infinite. Halo Universe being everything that came before, even like mangas and animes, anything. So this all seems to be old school stuff, but the UNSC Scorpion was probably going to be infinite considering we haven't got a Scorpion from Halo Infinite yet. But the main thing is $100. Like, that is a high price point. Again, Deep Discount might have inflated the price a little bit to reduce it down to 85 or that might be the price and if it is then what could it include for hundred dollars the previous scorpion we had was fully customizable you could make it into so many different kinds of tanks so we might have another thing like that or it might be a scorpion versus a ghost it might be a scorpion with a banished base like hundred dollars is there that's the most difficult to speculate on honestly but i'm probably gonna have to say that a scorpion you know traditionally has never came with many figures only one or maybe two so perhaps this is a similar game where it's a very customizable scorpion with really cool two-in-one features but it just comes with one spot and we're gonna have to see on that one there are not many details to go off there and that brings us to our final one which is uh ripe for the most speculation halo sand trap my god a $200 sand trap. That makes the imagination go wild, but I think I know exactly what this might be. A couple of years ago, Mega Constructs teased a new set called Raid on Apex, and this was a beast of a figure pack celebrating Halo Warzone. It had red versus blue in a colossal battle, and unfortunately it was canceled. I think the strategy at that point was to basically use every mold that they already had because Mega had made so many Halo 4 and 5 figures at that point. So it was a final celebration of Halo 4 and 5 before transitioning to Halo Infinite. And it was a big send off with all the armors they had made already. So it was pretty cheap to produce, but they actually just canceled it, which always seems strange. Halo Sand Trap retails for $200. Hear me out. It is a massive monstrous center building from Halo Sand Trap. This huge brown structure with an enormous base plate and then a full 16 player red versus blue all from Halo 3 because Mega has slowly been building up their Halo 3 molds that's no secret we've got so many to choose from now so I'm putting my money on a 16 player sand trap map <laughs> for $200. It'll basically be the new signature build it's gonna blow everyone's minds <laughs> $200 like what kind of set is $200? That's my prediction, man. So for Conflict of Requiem, we've got a couple of Spartan 4s and a couple of Prometheans battling it out against a small Promethean structure. Then for Red Team Charge, we've got all of Red Team going across that bridge with some kind of vehicle and some elite honor guards. The UNSC Scorpion is the hardest to predict. Maybe just one or two Spartans with a huge customizable Scorpion, probably based on Halo Infinite. And then Sand Trap, an enormous brown structure in the middle of the map sand trap with a 16 player halo 3 multiplayer showdown oh a man can dream, Carney. All right, so that's my predictions for these four sets. I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. I want you to go into high detail with your descriptions and I'll pin my favorite one in a few hours time. That's it for now. Check out my banished phantom uh, speculation video. That one, I was a little bit warmer. I'm gonna go get inside and warm my hands up. They're basically frozen off. Shout out to Minnesota Winter. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome, you stay safe. The Domain is signing off. See you next time.
And for the record, I would have kicked your ass the first time if the lady hadn't stopped me.